Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Squid Deliosha's. Right now I am doing a video for uh, my confusing experience I'm having. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I just got done putting new brakes on and I, for whatever reason, get a notification that a um, well, not notification, but a, uh, you go to test the car, it mentioned that the brake pedal feels soft. And it's the first time I've ever had that happen. I'm trying to see if I can redo it. I haven't done a video in a while and I figured I can make one before Thanksgiving. I know I have plans to do something for X-Plane 11. It will be my last video for X-Plane 11, but I haven't decided on that yet. But I do know I'm going to be doing a video for that soon. Because I uh, promised the guy I would do it. Yeah, I just don't know what I did wrong, so I'm going to figure this out. I went on Discord just a second ago, and I was told to look at the guides. went to go look at the guides, and, uh, oh, where the hell is it? No, that's not it. went to go look at the guides, and I just, oh. Well, now I feel like an idiot. I just posted that uh, the guides didn't really help because it just said work in progress. I did not even look in Catfish. I just looked at game guides. And this is all I found. Right here. I'm such an idiot. I should have looked in here. Wow. Okay. Flushing brake fluid requires a flare nut wrench. Oh, okay. Now I remember what it is. One liter of brake fluid and a brake fluid recovery bottle. Er, and recover. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> Uh, remove all four wheels, just did that. Raise the car to hip height. Um, literally, where's my hip? Does that work? Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> gotta add some dumb humor. I lost my place. Okay, locate the brake master cylinder. Okay, I know that it's at. Um, remove the brake master cylinder cap. Grab the blue um, anodized aluminum cap from the brake fluid bottle. Place it on. Okay. Um, grab the pump handle on the brake fluid bottles and pressurize the plate. That brake fluid to about 10 psi. Now I just did brake fluid, um, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. I'm really hoping I could redo it. 10 psi should be right about here. So I just slap new ones on. I wish I had brake, like bad brake fluid, so I can. Really hoping I can redo this. All right, so let's go back and refer to that. Okay, so 10 PSI, bring the brake fluid recovery bottles with you to the driver's to the driver's side rear of the car. 
locate the blade screw in the caliper, then attach the hose from the recovery bottle to the blade screw. Attach the flare wrench caliper and loosen one fourth turn. You should now see old brake fluid and air bubbles flowing through the recovery bottle hose. Keep the bleed screw open until the fluids turn amber and there are no more air bubbles in the stream. Leave the valve open for another 10 to 15 seconds to ensure all trapped air is removed. Um, when finishing, close the bleed screw. Well, I have four recovery bottles. So do I have to do this in order? Really? Do I really have to do it that way? Because I have four of these. Well, it failed the first time, so I guess we're going to have to do it the, their way the second time. One bottle. This sucks. I'm also going to make sure that everything is... Sorry for my slow reading. I know that a lot of people probably didn't want to see me read all the entire time, but... uh. Get off the damn car. Thank you. Okay. Wrong screw. Skadoosh. Take your screw back. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. Double check. Okay. And that's good. All right, so we know it's the, and we know the brake rotors are fine. And you know what? I'm really wanting to throw my frisbee. Okay, I'm happy. I can go put that back now. I love this frisbee. It is awesome. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put it right there for right now. Um, okay. So actually, I'm gonna move that back down there I really want these to look like real bins and then have trash bags and you just open this up take out the trash goes out to the dumpster that'd be awesome we should have dumpsters That'd be cool, you just open this garage up, have like a little button right here, beep, opens up, there's a dumpster, and we take all of our boxes and we just put it in there. So all the big stuff can go there. These can look like real trash cans with bags in them. We put the small stuff in the bags and then we take the bags and we throw it out into the dumpster along with like the wood pallets and the uh, um, whatever big item you don't want, like boxes and stuff. That would be awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna grab my, um, what are all these letters? I don't know math, okay. Do -do 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 -do. I missed it. Get on my table. Oh, I thought I can catch it. Dang it. Let's try a bigger item. Okay. Ah, I can't do it. Right. One more try. One more try. Oh, wait. That was stupid. Almost. Okay. 
I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Wonder how that works in VR. That would actually be pretty cool if you just take your hand and throw it. Okay. This is obviously a new part. That's new. I am double checking everything. Everything is new here. Okay. Obviously it's not that of anything. So then I do backtracking. And it makes a great video. Okay, so. I've been torquing everything because I just don't want to lose this race. I'm really hoping we win. This was for the uh, this side. Ooh. Uh, I didn't think about that. I'm using the mediums. I think I need to I completely forgot a part, and thanks for this video, I now remembered. Um, all parts, please. I just now remembered. These ones should be the really stiff ones, huh? Well, that's 450, this is 400. 500. 550. 600. What are we using right now? I want to go with let's not go too much How about 500 I'll install these at a different time um, what are we using up front Okay, so if it's four, or sorry, if it's 350 in the back and 1,000 up front, well, we want, okay, so the car is going to be driving really fast, and we're increasing the back. Um, because we don't want it to bottom out with softer suspension. Um, we went from 350 to 500, I want to say we should do... Let's do this one. Oh, and of course, the part I actually came for. So this is the front sway bar we want. I'm going with the thickest. Is this the thick one? This is the 180. Ah, no! Dang it. I think this is the good one. Okay. Um, so this is for the front, this is for the... Uh, 
I have no idea what screws I need. I'll figure it out at a later time. Okay, now back to with back to the brakes. I'm missing two screws. Give me those. Hoping we get instruction manual booklets so that way we have like diagrams and uh, what? Oh, 50. Don't be an idiot, Cody. And board. Okay. Where's the other brakes? Uh, we haven't done it yet. Okay, you know what? That is really bright. I do not want bright. No, I want it on. Just don't want it too bright. Okay. Let's do the next back one. Okay. Well, this part is still good. This part is good. That part and that part are good. That part and that part is good. Okay, that checks out. I'm being thorough because I don't like failing. I am trying to win this competition, not to screw it up. Back to 30. Fast forward. It really wasn't fast forward, but whatever. Okay, now we need 30, 50, 50, 50, 50. That is way too much. Okay. Um, now we're working on. Well, since the screw is already out of this one, I'm going to work on this one. So, good part. What the hell just happened? I do not want that in the trash. Thank you very much. Oh. Okay. I wish that like this didn't have to go in my pocket. Like, how do you pocket something like this? This is so huge. Reminds me of like uh, one of those guys that goes up on the telephone poles. Okay, so these brake pads are good. Okay. Now they're both 55. Like it'd be cool like if I could put this down and then I can grab another tool out of my pocket and unless I grab it and then hit Q I think that actually would be a lot better so then that we could just set our tools down and then grab the other tool out of our pocket set it down and then we just if we want to put it back in our pocket we just click it and put it back in done and done. That'd be awesome. Um, we don't need that. Okay, so these two screws are good. This caliper is good. This brake is good. This brake is good. All the hardware is brand freaking new. Okay, we can put all this junk back on. I want to win. And I'm really hoping to win. I want to see a trophy on my desk, which I still haven't assembled all the way. By the way, I've noticed something, um, and I think it should be noted. Well, 
Now the game is trying to prove me wrong. I had a piece of wood that, um, it would not, like, it would actually go right through the floor in this area, but I think maybe that's because I put it in the trash can and pulled out. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it's starting to be a little... Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. So I think that should be noted. Um, once you put it in the trash can, it, it's kind of garbage. So, unless you want to have wood sticking out of the, the cement, I would seriously uh, watch what happens if you put something in the trash. If it falls in the trash on accident, sorry, get a new one. Okay, so we just disassembled this. So both 55 cracks. Okay. Yeah, I was so excited I was going to eat some of my salad and watch the race and screaming at my computer, why is my driver not winning? Uh, why am I putting this on the left? What is wrong with me? I think I need to go back to kindergarten. Can you imagine a 23-year-old needing to go back to kindergarten? I can't tell left from right. I, did I just break my light? Can you break your light? How do you throw? Uh, left mouse plus shift. Okay, wait. Parentheses. Shift. Enter. No, I can't break it. See, I, I really need to go back to school. My teacher always said, in the parentheses is what you should pay attention to first. And I just read it backwards. Okay, so this needs to go to 50. By the way, I noticed that the engines aren't so heavy anymore. I mean, they still have weight, but that's much lighter. I was able to just pick a whole block up and put it right in. It's so weird. I mean, of course, I didn't have any of the stuff on here. I'm really hoping... This is an unlimited race that I'm attending to, and I'm really hoping that this counts. I just... Having to remove the turbo, I don't know. Um, however, I have seen a picture on online. I don't know if the developers have, but... Uh, oh, gosh dang it. Where did I put that piece? Oh, it's over here. I did see um, one of these things right here, just this, this piece right here. I did see one that was mounted like right on here. I don't know if um, that means anything. I just, I saw that he had a turbo with the other cooling system going right into this thing and it had these four little thingies. So. I don't know. Anyways, let's put the, um, whoa, put these screws on before I lose my mind. Okay, so we have to do it their way because my way failed for whatever reason. So it says to, <clears throat> um, you gotta do it at 10, where, where is it? Mentioned 10 PSI. I don't know if I have to repump it every time, but we'll go with it. Uh, and then we, Where's the first part it said? To the driver's side rear. Okay. So we're grabbing this bottle. We're going to the driver's side rear. And we're gonna fix this. We're gonna try to figure this out. 
We're gonna grab another one of these bottles. I actually really want to know how many times I can use this bottle. I've been throwing it away after each use. So, also, how come we get to keep these lids? They don't say grab here, like, like, um, these. We could just keep the lid and put back, we could just put it right back on. Why can't we just, I don't know. Also, we should have it where we get the red lid that goes onto this. We keep this. This is actually a tool. And it's separate from the bottle. You get the bottle and then you get the tool. That would be cool to have those separate. But I think that's a little more than... More than... Uh, I don't know what I'm about to say. Okay, let's, let's fix this. We need to do 10 PSI, so... Um, did you say pressurize? Can we do this? I'm really hoping this works. Okay, that's a little further than I want. Uh, should we release it first? Okay, you know what? Let's just grab the... So we're going to this side first, and we're going to hit release. And we're just going to stand here. Are you kidding me? This is what I have to do? I can't do it my way? Before I, I do it this way, I'm sorry. I have never had a problem with this. I'm gonna show exactly what I did. Because following these instructions seems like, it, it seems like it's outdated. This is how I did it before. Before I do it their way, I'm gonna show exactly how I did it. I wanna see if maybe I did screw up somewhere. Cause it has worked with work before. Oops. Open. Open. Okay. She's open. She's open. That's open. Okay. We're gonna do the 10 PSI thingy and then we're, we're gonna see how well this works. Okay. We're gonna keep it at 10 PSI. This is what I did before. I'm wondering if it's because I took this off and I had everything open and so it added air to the uh, to the system. I'm wondering if that's what happened because I, I took this off before closing all the valves. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping I did this correctly. Well, that's happening. I'm going to go get a drink of oil. Oh, it doesn't come out that way. Really? How do I... Okay, don't ever do that. Please don't. It's just water. This one's for water. Um, 
This one's water, this one's oil, this one's soda, and that one's, uh, that one's clean. There's nothing in that one. Okay. Is that going down anymore? All right, let's try this again. Um, so I think we need this. So we're going to close this this time. We're actually going to do this first before anything else. What is in my way? Okay. Once it's closed, no air can get in. And then we're going to go bloop. Where the hell did that go? It's always this one that does that. Okay. Uh, oh. Anyone got a napkin? I just got oil all over my car. What is that? Is that a droplet? Is that really a droplet? Oh. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Well, I forgot to close the valve here. I think that's fine. Um, skadoosh. I am really hoping that this works. By the way, this is a really handy thing to do, um, is having one side blue, the other side uh, red, um, because it's if you think of it, it, it's how you know if it's left or right. Like on this side, um, when I have the cooling system, I haven't painted it yet, but see how this side it says hot side, this side it says cold side, and well, this is upside down for one. But on my other car, this is blue, this is red, blue, red. I mean, you don't do that to everything, like the shocks or anything, but you can if you want. But I just, I typically do it with this. There actually is some race cars that you'll see this um, on their cars. Just an easy way for them to know left and right. At least that's what I think. You see it on the uh, Lamborghini... Uh, I want to say it's a Lamborghini Gallardo uh, GT car. I think it's in the GT3 series. Oh, that would be so cool if we had LMP1 cars. Um, I'm working on a drawing of one, but I'm my drawing skills have kind of failed. I've been trying to make designs of cars. Uh, I don't know how to do 3D modeling, but if I can make a drawing and have uh, in-depth like um, looks to it and stuff, and uh, my little knowledge of aerodynamics, I can see if I can make something for to post on the uh, Discord and maybe hoping that it can be put into this game. I would give full permission to do so. Um, I just have to figure out how to make the drawing work. And maybe I can get it to where it works with this engine too. I would totally love to have uh, have it put into this game. Making an LMP car.
However, torquing with the proper torque screws, that one's going to be a little hard to, uh... I'm not really familiar with that. I know a little bit of aerodynamics, I just don't know about screw torquing, so to have it properly torqued it might be a little questionable. That's not my profession. Neither is aerodynamics, but I do have a little knowledge. Um, I took a course in college. It was actually a skill center, but it was taking place in college, and they taught us a little bit of aerodynamics, so I kind of had an understanding on how it works, but it was more for uh, aircraft than it was for um, cars. So, my knowledge for aerodynamics might not really apply to cars. Okay, I'm gonna put this thing on. Let's hope we did this correctly. Let's lower her. Let the wasp do its thing. Okay. Where is Julio? Test car. Yay! I don't know what I did wrong, but apparently I just needed a backtrack. And now I gotta go on Discord and owe that guy an apology because uh, he was helping. He said I should go look at the guides, and I came back and said that the uh, the guides weren't there. And um, I really didn't even look. I looked in the wrong place. I didn't even. Um, I can't even find it. When I went in here, I. I only saw this. I actually didn't realize that there was another one back here. And so, if you're watching this, I do apologize. Um, I did not see that. But now I do, and I feel like an idiot. So anyways, yeah, I got my brakes fixed, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, I'm I'm really hoping that I do well in my race. I want to see a trophy on my desk that I have to build. Maybe I could just, um, you know what? Before I end this video, I'm going to, um, let's, let's just see how this is gonna work out. Okay. Is this how high I can go? What about there? Now, where should we put our trophy? Oh, too far. How about there? Huh? That would be great. I think we'll put our trophies right here. Except one problem. I'm going to do this over here. Watch what happens if I... Uh, or take this and so what you have to do if you want it to work it like a shelf you have to uh, for one put this on here two well damn this is gonna be a little bit challenging Okay, and see, now you got a little shelf. The moment that you pick things up or put something on it, the shelf falls. So you really have to be very careful. Uh, this is a little thing I would like, that I wanted to show you guys. If you have multiple trophies, put them on, but then be very slow and carefully raise your stuff, okay? And... I'd probably wait until you have multiple trophies and once you have maybe like four or five you could try to put them on here and see if you can get all four to stay up there but if you have one and then you get a couple more you have to take off each one so it'd be cool to do it in one shot but yeah 
Oh, and this will save right here. Anything that's on top of it will save right there. So if I were to put something on here and raise this thing up and stick it right here, it will stay right there. So you could have like a little shelf. Or you could just do the easy way and grab two pieces of wood and uh, make yourself a little desk. But yeah. Um, however, I had a piece of wood and I ended up throwing it away um, on accident and it went through the floor and I had to pull it out, but um, it was the best one I saw that could be used for a desk. But this one right here is meant for tic-tac-toe because I got four squares. Anyways, again, this is the end of the video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one uh, sometime around Thanksgiving. Squidelioshis out.